Welcome to Gamer Ability. I'm your host Sixpenny and in today's video I'm bringing you a special course showcase for a course that was designed by a subscriber to this YouTube channel. So it's October and it's fall and Halloween is right around the corner so a perfect time to play a Halloween themed course. The course today was designed by PNW Native 13 on Twitter or on this YouTube channel Nathan Prescott, an incredible course designer. He made this course based on many different Halloween themes. It, make sure you check this out. Now I will also be hosting a Halloween tournament featuring this course. In order to participate, you have to be a subscriber to the YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. If you meet both of those, you can participate. I'm gonna team people up. It's gonna be cross-platform. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for a special video when I announce that as we get closer to Halloween. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can get notifications on all my new videos and receive notifications when I go live. Stay tuned and enjoy. So it's time to jump into the new Halloween themed course created by one of our YouTube channel subscribers PNW Native 13 on Twitter or Nathan Prescott. He no telling how much time he spent and how much detail it took for him to make this course. I love I've really enjoyed this course. I'm glad to show it to you and showcase it. So it's in game, you're gonna search Halloween Town. As we look at the default settings. The fairways and greens are soft because it's at night and it's rainy, just like you would want from a Halloween themed course. Green speed is medium, uh, rainy weather. All right, so let's move in here. I'm going to play from the black tees and then play at the first pin location. Hello there. Welcome to the game. My name is John. All right, so we're moving in here to, to hole number Nothing one. This like one's called Jack O'Lantern. So as you five. first get Let's in here, a bit of fun out there. look, just the feel of this course is so Halloween-like. So we have the fall trees in the background. We have the fog and swamp water with the dead trees there on this part of the fairway. Right there to the left, so you want to make sure you, when you hit this fairway that you aim to the right. He has tombstones for the tee at on the tee pad. So, and then just wait till you see some of the designs. So I'm going to do a flyover of each hole here. So let's start the flyover here. As we move in here, so you can see the water here to the left. It's so cool. And then we get here to the green and there's the jack-o-lantern and look at this flag look pin location here right in the middle of its eyes and nose and you can see the houses in the background I'm gonna zoom out so I want to show an over kind of an overview of the whole course here so we have you can see all the hose you can kind of get a look at all the designs the haunted clubhouse in the back right we have the rainbow in the background there, but so neat. You can see my favorite hole right there, the spider. All right, so let's go back, play the first hole. There's the caddy book there, 603 par 5. And this course is very scorable too. Work. There's some sneaky shots and on the green. Second shot here on the first. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to lay up. And then you will have to chip on the green sometimes because there's many cases on this course where you're, the path between you and the hole is obstructed. Third so you can, you can pitch in those cases. Right, I'm going to actually do a normal sand wedge. See if we can birdie the first hole. That's looking nice. Oh, come on. Have a seat for us now. I'll take it. Okay, here comes a right, nice Pretty flat so green. Right here at this pin location, a little bit going, a little bit right this to left, tracking. and we birdie jack o' lantern first hole. Minus one. For the day. You look at the t-shirt. You can see the swamp in the background the there. I like that backdrop. To right. Now as we move in, so we have a 163 yard par three here. So this one's called candy corn. 
So let's do a quick fly over here. So we have the houses, the surrounding houses around. Wonder what spectators would be watching this. And then we have the pin location in the middle there. Yeah, we'd probably get, you know, in Halloween Town here, there'd probably be some scary crowds out there. See if we can do it. Not that's great tempo. Wind took off Nothing a little too much. That. Safely on the green. Ooh, right, breaking a little bit to the here. right at the end. Not much at the beginning. Oh, it could be. Get in there. How yes. You, two birdies. Did that? I didn't. Did not think that was going to drop. That was amazing. So I will be hosting a Halloween tournament with all the subscribers, with all my subscribers on YouTube and my Twitter followers together. So in order to participate in the tournament, you do make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and you follow me on Twitter. Um, that's how I'm going to kind of pick everybody and it's going to be a stroke play team tournament. It, it's crop, you know, I'm going to try to set it up to where it's cross platform. You can join together and uh, play the rounds and just compare who has the best best score each hole and the it's going to be a stroke play so stay tuned for that on my twitter i'll make a youtube video announcing it as well so i got ahead of myself here in the second hole i was so excited to hit that tee shot so we're heading into hole number three so this one's called witch's hat so as we look at the tee shot as we come to the left here, you can start to see, I really like this design here. So we have the swamp, foggy area here to the left of the fairway. And then as we look to the green, I mean, it's, it's designed perfect. A witch's hat here. This specific pin location is right there to the left here. Well, I'm going to zoom out just so you can see the three first hoes together from the sky. Looks so good. And you can start to get a glimpse of the other holes as well. I really like the lighting at this spot. So you can get a good view of the whole course. Beautiful. Alright, so let's hit this shot. See if we can conquer the witch's hat. We have some good birdie streak going. We just got to keep it up. And my tempo's been a lot better today. Oh, yeah. That's going to do just nicely. Oh, I can make this. Okay, 11 feet to deal with. Yes, there three birdie. birdies in a row. And after that, now I've played now this. I've played this power. course already around Wind's picking up out there. five times, just because I enjoyed it so much. I played it on the day that uh, Nathan sent it to me. I played it because I just loved it. I played each pin location. Uh, the best I shot was a minus nine. So now we move into this one's fallen leaf. I really love the tee shot here because you can see that the water and swamp area is in play, but it just provides a great view from the tee, from the your tee shot and that spooky view. So as we start to move in, you can see that you need to hit it to the right. So if you, a slow follow through here is good, but if you play for a fast follow through here, you may be there. And look at this house. I don't know if I'd want to live at that house. That might, that'd be kind of scary there. Now, as we look at the green, look at the fallen leaf here. The detail that he added to this, I cannot imagine how long this took. It's perfect. Now, the pin location here is in the left here, middle left, on a left slope. Let's see if we can keep the birdie streak going. So I'm going to go for a slow follow through. To keep me safe from the water. This drive should be safe. Add that nice fade. There this we go. About 190 or so. Long par pin. four. See if we see if we can hit this one close. Oh, I sh I shanked it and Heading fast back. follow through. Okay. Third well, there shot. goes the birdie streak. Unless I chip this in. way too far good luck here this is well are we gonna have our first bogey it's looking like it mm 
What's heading? Are we not, oh, so close. This is a tough well, green. Tough. This is the toughest uh, green so bit, far. A little bit too hard on that one. Toughest pin location. Here's a ten foot putt. Not gonna break too much. Be a good one. Oh, I got solid lucky that there. one dropped. Bogey, but, uh, There's our first bogey. Halloween. You expect bogeys at the Halloween course, right? And the wind All right, so now we're moving into hole number right five, 154-yard par three called Dia de Mer Merta. Um, so as we zoom in here and provide the overview, I mean, look at this. Incredible. And then as we move in, you'll see the pin location is just mean, right? You expect these pin locations in a Halloween course. I mean, this would be an incredible course to ace. As Then I want to zoom out just so you can see the holes that we played so far in the in action there. There we go. So let's see if I can actually hit this green. It could be very challenging to hit this green. A little awkward yeah, on that Yeah, fast follow through. I'm going to be in his eye. Well, missed the green oh, there. Oh, don't mind me. One. I'll just be hitting my golf okay, shot here for a little bit. Sand. Hopefully we get up and down from here. Hey, I'll oh, take it. Yes. All right, let's head over to the next hole. See what we got to get do. some more birdies going here. And that has kept you at Now the next hole is one of my favorites. Now I have many favorites on this course, but this hole is hole six. number six, 522 yard par five called the bat. So as we take a look here, provide the overview. So you'll see the, the house is to the right. So really what you want to do is hit it, either fade it around these houses because if you do a fast follow through, you're going to be in the other fairway. But also, one thing that I've done before is actually hit this house and it bounced back into this area, which made a very tough second shot. Um, now as we zoom in, we can get a closer look at the bat here. So this pin location is on the left side of the wing. You want to kind of funnel it down through this area and roll it in. But very awesome design bat. Looks perfect. Now as I zoom out, so we can kind of take a look at everything there. So let's see. Do I want to bank it off the house? That might be nice. Perfect follow through. There we go. Landed in okay. the fairway. Second shot on the Can sixth. we birdie the bat? Going to have to be a, a percentage five wood. Oh, it's looking nice, that swing. Keep going. Gonna be a tough eagle putt. You'll get some long putts on There's this course. There's a under regulation for you. Pat yourself on the back. And this is for a bird with big wings. Eagle putt Bird with big wings on the bat. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Oh, this one could drop. Mmm. Just Close. A bit I crushed there. it. I was going for it. Thinking this will take you to three under. I couldn't and tell. I you know, sometimes the I've day. noticed like those putts that look straight in on this course they break a little bit. But I read that one. I read it wrong, but it was actually straight one. in. So now we're moving into hole number seven, 463 yard par four. So long par four. This is another one of my favorite holes. It's called the Ghost. So we pull up the caddy book here. You can see. You start to see the ghost. As we move into the flyover, we have that dead tree right in the middle there. I have hit that tree before. Uh, this hole works good for a fast follow through, aiming to the right, curving, drawing the ball to the left. As you can see the ghost here, amazing design here. I like seeing the, the uh, bat right next to the ghost. I just think it looks cool. And then we can zoom out to look at everything we played so far. Again, I'm going to say it a thousand times, incredible job with this course. Thank you so much, Nathan, for creating this course. I couldn't imagine the time that you spent on this. There. But everybody, show him some love. Leave a comment down below. Get in the game. Yards, play this course. Leave a, leave a five-star rating. Tell everybody about this course. And also tell your friends about the tournament that's coming up. So this course will be featured on a live channel, on a live stream. Hopefully, uh, this we, one will stick. Uh, this might be obstructed. Might this is a very, well, no, it's very technically not obstructed. It's just a hard putt. Me. 
Wow, that look Ooh, at the speed that ball hole. picked up. Okay, eleven footer here. This yeah, is I definitely think straight in. It's getting there. And it was. Nice putt. That's in there for par. Oh, that's a tough hole. That's a very tough hole. Okay, so that'll keep you at three under for the round. So now we're moving into par hole number eight, 157 about, yard uh, par three, called the lollipop. So this is one of my my chat my go for this course. My challenge for this course and for everybody here is to hit this green. And if you hit this green, send me a video of it because I want to see it. Because this is such a hard green to hit, especially with this pin location. So as I l zoom in here, so the pin location is right in the middle of the lollipop, right there. So as we zoom in, it's so hard to land it there. I've gotten so close to hitting the green, but have not hit the green yet. Let's see if this will be the time that I hit the green. Good swing. And That's finally, and this one video proof, I bird. hit the green on hole number eight. Let me know in the comment section down below if you hit this green. It is such a hard green to hit. I pushed it. Ooh. Can't make that. Okay, let's see what you Almost can do with this seven footer. Sorry, hit the green but missed the birdie opportunity. The, the lollipop stroke. got me. And right I thought now, I had it. Three under par. So now, as we Damn, move into hole, hole number nine. nine and finish the front nine with my favorite hole. So if I had to say the iconic hole for this course, it's the spider. The tee shot, look how, I mean, it's just a perfect, spooky Halloween shot. You, we look straight ahead, we have the swampy fog area in the backdrop there. And then as we zoom in, you can get a picture of the spider. But watch this overview here. So from this view, I love this view. And as we start to move in, you get a glimpse of the spider here. I mean, look at this. Amazing. And I like to picture the swamp area as kind of the spider's web. <laughs> That's just kind of my visualization of it. And you have the houses behind it. But this is my favorite hole on this course. Now as we look back to what we've played so far, so there's the front nine, a great front nine, and we end it with this spider hole, which is just amazing. So 396 yard par four, let's look at it from the caddy book. Nice, pure good swing, swing. great stuff. Hit the fairway, fairway percent has actually Setting been pretty good this round. Yards out. Perfect swing. Be the club. This one's looking good. Yes. And that will play. Thank we conquered much. the spider, I believe. And, and we did. Drops, Birdied uh, the spider. Marks down your fifth birdie so far today. So that concludes the front Sitting nine. Now we make the round, the headed round. to the back we nine. We start to right with a 271 yard par three. So a long par three called Ogie Bogey. So here we go. Let's take a look here as I raise up, do the overview. Look at this design. Amazing. I mean, how did he design this? Just imagine the time that that took. So good. So I've seen a pin location in the middle here. This one's not there. This one's actually in the back, which makes this hole play very long, and it's actually a very hard hole. I'm going to do a driver percentage shot. Slow follow through. Nope. Grab your flip flops. Ah, uh, that would have been nice without the slow follow and through. Second Grab shot the, on the flip flops, John said. This is potentially to save par. I'd be happy to save par. This is Good. a tough hole. One of the hardest Good holes on the course. On that one. All right. So now we head into stick hole right number there, 11, 120 one. yard par three. I love the tee shot here, so it's blind tee shot with the dead and trees in the ground there. So we f zoom in to fly over, so this is called the tombstone. So we have the tombstone with the rest in peace, the pit 
whole location is front left. Pretty flat green, actually. So let's see if we can do it. I'm going to do a pitching wedge, put a little up on the ball to keep it under the wind. Perfect swing. Let's see if I made the right decision. Yep, perfect. Well, that'll work on the green, won't it? Six feet to the cup. Get in there. Another Nicely birdie. Done. Pulling off the birdie on this one. Conquered the tombstone. All right, and after that, you've brought your score. Now we down head into to hole no number 12. So, hole number 12 features a big part of Halloween. If you're like me, you love candy, you love Halloween candy. So, as we look at this, a 339 yard short par 4 called Candy Wrapper. You can get a glimpse of it there, but as we zoom in here, with our overview, you can start to see. So we have a candy wrapper with a pin location right in the front. Does this make anybody else hungry for can candy right now? It's about that time, right? Nice shot. Okay, second shot here on the 12th. I don't like flop shots. Honestly, a flop shot's going to be better right now. I'm going to have to face it. My least favorite shot in the game. So I never can seem to get the tempo six right. On the round, if you sink this. Looking really good. Oh. All right, you've got this left for par. So close. That would have been a big birdie. All right, now let's set so that, our So that is the, the candy next. wrapper. We didn't get the birdie there. I was too focused on candy. Tee this one so up now on we head into hole. hole number 13, another one of my favorites. It's a short par 3, 110 yards, and it's Casper. So as we move in here, zoom in. Look at Casper. Casper the friendly ghost right there in the flesh. Or I Shouldn't say in the flesh, but... <laughs> Alright, so let's get a view from above here of what we played to this point, basically. Right there. Let's see if we can hit it so the whole location is in the front, right underneath, underneath his mouth. Nice swing. Swing felt very nice. He picks up his tee. Perfect. There. Great. We Shot. dialed in on Casper there. It's because he's and so friendly. He makes us happy. Number seven today. Birdie down to minus six. And six so happy to, to showcase nice this course. I, am, this I love this course. So as we look at hole number 14 here, a 405 yard par four called Witch's Broom. So as we... If I zoom up and provide an overview, we have the houses to the right, a fairway bunker there to the right, or not a fairway bunker, but a bunker in play. And then we zoom up, we have the witch's broom hole, and you can see the tombstone right next to it. Then Ogie Bogey over there. All right, so I'm going to try a slow follow through here. To really fade it around the tr oh, get in. Mm. Good luck on your second Tough. shot here on the fourth. Maybe that wasn't the best decision. Be the club. Get in there. Mm. Good shot though. Decent approach there. And this one's for Bird. So ha let me po post all the scores on this. Post Ooh, post in the comment close. sections. Let me know what you shoot. Let's keep it. Seven I'm gonna keep a track here. of the lowest uh, rounds on this course. In there, in there for par. And teeing this one up. So on we move hole. into hole number 15. This is Frankenstein, another one of my favorite holes. I love the tee shot. As we look here, the water is in play on the right with the slow follow through. I love. So as we look at this. The swamp, you actually have houses that are in the swamp, dead trees area. Waters are flooded in there. It has a very Halloween feel and vibe to it. And then it is in play, too. So then as we zoom in, there's Frankenstein. <laughs> so neat. And then as we zoom in, you'll see the hole here right in between his forehead and eyes. Uh, and I like to zoom out just so you can see where we what we played to this point. 
there. Alright, let's see if I can keep it in the fairway. Perfect. Great. Yeah, you'll take that. And let's see, what can we do here? Second. Three wood's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna try to hit the driver and see what happens. You're taking driver off the fairway, are ya? Ah, uh, hit oh, the tree. That's, uh, off track. All right, we're gonna be and chipping. This is your third shot. We're pitching. Tough lie. That's how the water flies up. That's one animation I love in this game. Ah, uh, perfect. Well done. That's another green and regulation. Can we birdie Frankenstein? Seven under on the day if you sink this. Ooh, oh, there. under red that big time. Just a little too much pace. Tough on pin that location. One. Might be the toughest of the day. Down she goes. I think Frankenstein wins tough as green. Now we head into Here another one of my favorite holes. Hole number 16. The black cat. The tee off shot. We have the swamp area to our right. Right off the tee. Makes for a nice view. I don't know about it. You know, maybe not a nice view, but you know, kind of a that spooky Halloween nice view. All right, and then we have the ink. Look, look, the cat has its back raised. It looks like an angry black cat. So neat. And we have the backdrop swamp area there, the houses. You can see its whiskers. Let's see if we can hit. So this is a, lo a short par four, an easy birdie hoe. I birdied, I think I birdied this hoe every time. See if we can hit the green and have a putt. We did. It's gonna be I a like long what putt. You've, uh, done with this hole. Just, just gonna drive the green and uh, putt for eagle. Sounds good. This putt. This would is be a for big eagle. putt if we can hit this. Come on, keep breaking. Keep breaking. Nah. Wow. That did not break. On, on these one. medium greens, these go. slow Let's conditions, birdie. putts don't break as much. Birdies everywhere. Still a birdie. So this is—I think this is the easiest hole on the course. Great design, right though. Now you're seven under for the day. Now we head to hole number to 17. Four. We're almost to the end. This is where the two themed holes of Happy Halloween start. So this is hole number 17, Happy Pumpkin, a 409-yard par four. So I pull up the caddy book here so you can get a glimpse of the happy at the end. You can really see the cat. Now, the tee off shot again has the swamp area to the right. And then this is so neat. I mean, look at this. Happy pumpkin. They'll tell on how long it took him to actually map those bunkers out and get every, all that perfectly formatted there and the pumpkin to actually look like a pumpkin the whole location is right underneath the a there all right so let's put this one in the fairway oh, see if we can get another goodness, birdie just smash that one swings definitely feeling a lot better today away. than it has been shots uh, coming towards the green nice perfect That'll play pin high. Well judged. This Halloween course actually giving me more confidence. You think it, you know, usually it has the opposite effect, right? <laughs> All right, back to back birdies. We finish on the 18th hole. Halloween pumpkin. You see the haunted clubhouse just on the right side. It's hard to see there, but it's right up there. I don't think that's a clubhouse I would be stopping at. I think I would finish this hole and just run, run, get out of here as fast as I could. So we have the swamp area is in play on the right. You want a, a fast follow through actually is favorable here just so you avoid the water. So if I do the flyover, look at this. Halloween, there's a good shot of the clubhouse in the background. Halloween, pumpkin, amazing detail, all the letters perfectly. I mean, the letters look great. And then we can get a view from the clubhouse here. If I can zoom up, get a picture of everything we've played. That is Halloween Town. Right there. Hole number one, Jack-O-Lantern. All the way to 
hole 18 Halloween. And my favorite ones, if I had to rate my favorite ones on this course, I would say the, I love the Jack and Lantern to start, but number one is definitely going to be the Spider over here. Number two, Casper. Number three, Frankenstein. Number four, the Bat. And really all of them. The Lollipop's great because I love to challenge that. Ogie Bogey. Everything is just awesome. Check out this course. Nathan crushed it on this course. That one didn't sound right. Oh, no. Of oh, course, we can't end the round back. without hitting it in the water. I said it favors a slow follow through. I mean, a fast He's follow through, and I do a slow. I think we have a good club, though. We can still score. Good little shot. We can there. still birdie. Twenty-four feet from the cup. Finish Halloween Town with Looking a birdie, nice. and we did. And there you. What have a great a round! Finished round. nine no under par, no tied no my no best no round no at no this course. That Without that bogey, down. I would have had my best round. But overall, I rate this course at the max, so it's a 5 out of 5. Play this course. Play it in all the pin locations. Send me a video if you hit green number 8, especially if you birdie it or ace it. Um, let me know what you score on this in the comment section below and show the designer some love. Let them know how great this course is down below such a fun round i've enjoyed every round i've played here and also stay tuned there's going to be a halloween tournament that i am going to host on my youtube channel and on my website closer to halloween so in order to participate subscribe to the youtube channel and follow me on twitter if you meet the, both those criteria and uh, you can join the tournament it's going to be a live tournament all of us playing together i will put people into teams so let me know down below, first of all, if you're interested, but I'll be doing another video announcing that tournament in the future. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out this course. Show, follow Nathaniel on Twitter so you stay up to date on his other courses. A great course designer. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and keep coming back for more content like this and to improve your gamer ability.